Hello, I'm Ignacy Guardia, Technical Support Manager at vcn 3 d and today we're tackling the issue of when your 3D printed part isn't sticking to the print bed. If your printer has an adjustable bed and you're having issues with sticking, check to make sure that your printing level is flat. An uneven bed could mean that one side is closer to the nozzle while the other side is too far, creating a difficult print environment. If this is the case, it could result in warping or breaking. The process for leveling depends on your printer. For example, PCN 3D printers are equipped with automatic bed leveling, but you also have the option to do it manually. Alternatively, if your 3D printer does not have auto leveling, you need to level it yourself. There is a certain sweet spot between the bed and the nozzle. If the nozzle is too close to the printing surface, then the filament will not be able to come out or the extruder could damage or track the previously printed layer. On the other hand, if the nozzle is too far, the filament will not be properly placed and will not be able to adhere. You will have to experiment to see what works best for the material you are using. Ideally, the nozzle has to be close enough to the printing surface so that the filament is slightly squished onto the bed surface, allowing it to get a better grip. Nozzle speed is also an important factor to consider. Similarly to the nozzle distance, you must find a certain sweet spot for the nozzle speed, especially when printing the first few layers. Slowing down the nozzle speed will give the plastic more time to bond to the printing surface and get a better grip. If you print too quickly, the filament may not stick to the printing surface as the plastic will cool off too quickly. After you have laid down your first few layers and you feel confident with your print pad adhesion, you can resume the nozzle to a normal speed. If you're using a heated bed on your prints, double check that you're using the proper temperature for your specific filament. Remember that different 3D printing filaments require different temperatures. It may also help to slightly increase the bed temperatures by just a few degrees to help the first layer stick. After you have established a good grip, you can then lower the temperature to maintain a normal heat. If you've double and triple checked all of your nozzle and bed settings and still have addition problems, then it's time to bring in some backup tools so that the print keeps sticking to the bed. For example, you can use some adhesive right on the bed where the filament will land. There are a few different options that you can consider. Glue stick, hairspray, printer's tape, or some 3D printer adhesives like Magigo. Using an adhesive specifically designed for 3D printing ensures that you will be able to properly wash it off from your print once it's finished. This common practice is both quick and cost effective and can save you a lot of headaches. You only have to apply a thin layer to the bed. Different filaments will adhere to different adhesives, so experiment to see what works best for you. If you don't want to use adhesive but your print not sticking remains a problem, printing a brim or a wrap might be your best option. A brim is a layer of filament that surrounds the print and attaches to the first layer of your printed object. It is similar to a hat's brim. It does not sit under the part but just simply adds an extra layer around it. A raft, on the other hand, is a thin layer of filament that is laid down before the rest of your print. This creates a flat base for the rest of your print to build upon. Both rafts and brims are removed from the final object once it is done printing. These are especially useful when creating very small parts or parts that need supports on the very first few layers. For instance, they will both help anchor the print and allow it to adhere better. For PA, ABS and PP, materials with high shrinkage rate, there are some few tricks to avoid warping and cracking. If you want to reduce the amount of material and increase the contact area, you can reduce the number of undercoats from 3 to 2 coats, you can reduce the number of perimeters from 3 to 2 perimeter lines, you can use the edge as an addition for the printing surface, and when printing very large parts with a large nozzle diameter, you can increase the hardened temperature from 5 to 10 degrees from the recommended one, as well as the print flow rate, and increase the printing speed from 10 to 15 mm per second less than the recommended one. If you are really struggling with the 3D printed part not sticking to the bed, don't be afraid to try a combination of a few of these techniques. And for more information, you always have a vast amount of tips and tricks from our support team on our BCN3D knowledge base. See you next time!